Welcome to clipmayproject.com. Let me discuss about the process superpixel classification based on optical disc and optical cup segmentation for glaucoma screening. Let me see about the process superpixel classification based on optic disc and optic cup segmentation for glaucoma screening. Optical disc and optical cup from the rectilinear images are segmented in order to identify the glaucoma present in the rectilinear image. The images were initially collected and then they are pre-processed in order to remove the noises from them. The optical cup and the optical discs located in the rectangular images were segmented using level set segmentation algorithm. Mainly the optical disc region is initially localized and then it is segmented. The optical disc is localized by identifying the high intensity pixels obtained from the optical retinal image. It is based on the fact that the optical disc contains high intensity pixels when compared to the other images, other retinal images, and then the optical cup is located inside the optical disc by identifying the curvature of the nerves present in the optical disc or the in high intensity brighter intensity values within the optical disc region. The vertical cup diameter and the vertical disc diameter were calculated. This is helpful in identifying the cup to disc ratio of the retinal image and based on the cup to disc ratio we are classifying the images based on setting a threshold. We are initial. compared to through a threshold the images that is having the CDR values greater than the threshold are said to be glucometers and the remaining images were normal images then the features are extracted from the images then the features are passed into the SVM classifier and the classifier identifies whether the given input image is glucoma affected or let we discuss about the flow of the process superpixel classification based on optical disc and optical cup segmentation for glaucoma screening. Initially, the input rectangular images are pre-processed. For pre-processing, we are using some filters and then the color channels of the images were extracted. The green color channel contains the most useful information regarding the rectangular images. Initially, the optical disc is segmented by estimating the size and localizing it. An important parameter that needs to be determined in our optical disc detection and segmentation is the size of OD. Basically, the size of the OD is determined by the use of the FOV cameras that we use in order to capture the retinal images. Then, the identified OD is localized uh, using template matching. The light component closely matches the human perception of the brightness variations. So basically, the OD, OD region has high intensity when compared to the other regions. Based on that, the OD from the rectangular image is segmented. After OD segmentation, we are going to segment the optical cup. Detecting the cup boundary from the 2D fundus images without this information is a challenging task as the depth is the primary indicator for the cup boundary. In the 2D fundus images, one landmark to determine the cup region is the pallor, defined as the area of the maximum color contrast inside the disc. Another landmark is the vessel bends at the boundary of the cup. For segmentation of optical cup, we apply level set segmentation algorithm. Then, after obtaining the cup and the disc, various features can be computed. We, are fo we follow the co clinical convention to compute the cup to disc ratio. Cup to disc ratio is an important indicator for the glaucoma screening computed as the computed CDR is used for the glaucoma screening. When CDR is greater than a threshold, it is a glaucoma test, otherwise healthy. CDR is equal to VCD divided by VDD. VCD is the vertical cup diameter and VVD is the vertical disc diameter. The VCD and VVD are calculated during the segmentation. We are segmenting fixing the threshold as 0.3. If the images have CDR below 0.3, then they are classified as normal. Otherwise, they are classified as abnormal. Then, the features are extracted from the input images and also the images in the database so that they are classified using SVM classifier. Classification is done using SVM classifier, support vector machines or supervised learning models with associated learning algorithms that analyzes data and recognize patterns used for classification and regression analysis. The basic SVM takes a steps 
set of input data and predicts for each given input which of two possible classes from star output, making it a non-progressive binary linear classifier. Then finally, the classifier accuracy is computed. Let me see the running procedure of the process superpixel classification based on optic disc and optic cup segmentation for glaucoma screening. If you want to run the code, select the file final.m which is located in the source code folder. Right click it and click run file. You will get the process running started. In the dataset, we have given some glaucoma affected and normal images in them. So we have to find whether the given image is glaucoma affected or normal image. Select an image and first initially the image's background is segmented and then the green channel from the uh, color image is segmented and then finally the optical disc region is segmented by iterative process initially first the location of the optical disc is identified and then the, the region is correctly masked in the input image and then finally the both the optical disc and the optical cup regions were combinedly masked and then finally individually the optical disc and the optical cup is masked and then a contour is plotted over the optical disc and the optical cups so that they were segmented um, they were segmented and then using and then calculating the cup to disc ratio we are setting a threshold and the values be below the images that are having the values below some threshold were concluded as non Norm, abnormal images and the images that have the that have the values in b include the threshold are classified as normal images and then finally SVM classifier classifies the images into normal and abnormal images based on the features extracted from them thank you